Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we must find the total number of ways to distribute six coins among three people. Now, I should begin by telling you that this is a very difficult counting question. In fact, it's probably too difficult to be a GRE question. However, as you will see, when we begin to list the possible outcomes, we are soon able to identify an easy solution. Now, to solve this question, we're going to list all possible outcomes using sets of three numbers. The first number represents the number of coins Alex receives, the second number represents the number of coins B receives, and the third number represents the number of coins Chad receives. Now we're going to list our outcomes systematically. We'll begin with the case where Alex receives 6 coins, then the case where he receives 5 coins, then 4 coins, and so on. So let's begin with the first case, Alex receives 6 coins. Well, if Alex receives all six coins, then there are zero coins remaining, which means B and Chad must receive zero coins each. So there is only one possible outcome when Alex receives six coins. Now we'll examine what happens when Alex receives five coins. Well, if Alex receives five coins, then only one coin remains to distribute between B and Chad. So B could receive zero coins, or she could receive one coin. So there are two possible outcomes when Alex receives five coins. What about the case where Alex receives four coins? Well, if Alex receives four coins, then there are two coins remaining to distribute between B and Chad. So B could receive zero coins, one coin, or two coins. So there are three possible outcomes when Alex receives four coins. At this point, we may recognize a pattern developing. When Alex receives three coins, we can see that there are four possible outcomes. When Alex receives two coins, there are five possible outcomes. One coin, six outcomes, and zero coins, seven outcomes. So the total number of outcomes will be the sum of numbers from one to seven, which equals 28. So the answer here is C.